in reading your book, um, one thing that leapt out at me was um, uh, the various candidates you have worked for, been involved with, John Edwards, Elliot Spitzer, Andrew Cuomo. Um, they all have in common <laughs> one thing. <laughs> They've all had problems with women. Um, so look, if I were your therapist, which I'm not, I would ask you two questions. Uh, number one, is there a pattern here? And the second question is, does this explain how you ended up advising the first openly gay presidential <laughs> candidate? <laughs> that is a good one. I love it. Um, I love it. Well, okay, let's be very clear about one thing. With John Edwards, I, I was on the 2004 campaign and I was about as I was a volunteer intern I was in a student group for him at, at Dartmouth College so I was not exactly a senior advisor to him with um with with Elliot and who you know full disclosure like later on ended up being my boyfriend and Andrew I think that they were that was more um, an issue of sort of what was seen as uh, putting the woman side of, uh, woman stuff aside, which is a big thing to put aside, is that they're both very strong personalities. And I think there was a belief in New York politics for a while that to succeed, you had to sort of be this hard charger, that you had to be sort of a bully. Um, and I think that was a big part of both of their downfalls, which is that they in addition to, you know, very different scandals that they both had to deal with, there were people who ended up um, leaving office with many more enemies than they had friends. Um, and that they were people who, um, uh, you know, frankly, over time, I think really um, lost touch with why they were in government in the in the first place, and um, treated their colleagues like dirt. And so when, you know, when they got in trouble, there was no one left to stand up for them.